Hello, health warriors. We are thrilled you've joined us for another insightful video. The question we are addressing today is, does eating fat make you fat? Brace yourself for the surprising answer, a definitive no. We understand that the topic of nutrition is often riddled with countless myths and misconceptions. One of the most prevalent ones, the belief that eating fat makes you fat. We're about to debunk this misconception but before we dive in, we have a humble request. If you find our content valuable and enlightening, please consider subscribing to our channel, sharing our videos with your friends and family, and don't forget to hit the like button. We also love hearing from you, so please leave us a comment below. Your support enables us to continue producing these informative videos. Ready to enter the world of health facts? It might seem counterintuitive, but the reality is, not all fats are created equal, there are good fats and bad fats, and understanding the difference is key to maintaining a healthy diet. Good fats, like those found in fatty fish, grass-fed beef, butter, and eggs, can actually help lower bad cholesterol levels and are crucial for brain health. On the other hand, bad fats, like trans fats and some saturated fats found in processed foods, can raise your bad cholesterol and increase your risk of heart disease. So it's not about avoiding fats altogether. It's about making informed choices and maintaining balance. So buckle up as we debunk this myth and explore the world of fats. First things first, let's understand what fats really are. Fats, often misunderstood, are essential nutrients that our bodies require to function properly. They aren't just an energy source, but they also support cell growth, protect our organs, and even keep us warm on those chilly winter nights. Yes, that's right. Fats are the unsung heroes of our body's daily operations. Now here's where it gets interesting. Fats come in different shapes and sizes, just like us. There are several types of fats, including saturated fats, unsaturated fats, and trans fats. Each of these plays a unique role in our body's health and wellness. Saturated fats, for example, are typically solid at room temperature. Think of the white bits in a steak, or the creamy texture of butter. These fats, contrary to popular belief, aren't all bad. In fact, a certain amount of saturated fat is necessary for optimal health. Then we have unsaturated fats, which are usually liquid at room temperature, like the oil from a piece of salmon. These fats, often termed good fats, are crucial for heart health and can help reduce harmful cholesterol levels. Trans fats, on the other hand, are the real troublemakers. Most of them are artificially created and are found in many processed foods. They can raise the levels of bad cholesterol and lower the good cholesterol, increasing the risk of heart diseases. But here's the deal. Our bodies need a balance of saturated and unsaturated fats for overall health. It's all about moderation and quality. Just like in a great movie, each character, or in this case, each type of fat, plays a vital role. The key is to understand their roles and make them work together for our health's benefit. So, as we see, fats are not our enemy, but our ally. But the caveat is, not all fats are created equal. In our next segment, we'll delve deeper into the world of good fats and bad fats and how to make the right choices for our health. Stay tuned. Now, let's take a closer look at the good guys. Unsaturated fats and healthy saturated fats found in animal products. Unsaturated fats are typically liquid at room temperature and are found in foods like fish, meat, and dairy. They are divided into two categories monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. Monounsaturated fats can be found in a variety of animal-based foods like grass-fed beef and poultry, while polyunsaturated fats are found in fatty fish like salmon and mackerel. These fats are essential for our health as they can help to lower bad cholesterol levels, reducing the risk of heart disease and stroke. In addition to unsaturated fats, there are also healthy saturated fats. Yes, you heard that right. Not all saturated fats are bad. These healthy fats are found in animal products like butter, cheese, and eggs. They can be a beneficial part of your diet as they are a great source of energy, helping to fuel your body and mind. Now you might be wondering, how do these fats benefit our health? Well, they play a significant role in brain function and development. The brain is made up of nearly 60% fat, and the fats we eat directly affect its structure and function. Omega-3 fatty acids found in abundance in fatty fish are particularly important as they can improve memory and mood. Moreover, these good fats can aid in the absorption of vitamins, 
Fat-soluble vitamins, including vitamins A, D, E, and K, require fat to be absorbed and used by the body. So by including good fats in your meals, you're not only boosting your brain health, but also ensuring that your body is getting the most out of the vitamins in your food. But don't forget, while these fats are beneficial, they are still high in calories. So it's essential to consume them in moderation as part of a balanced diet. Overindulging even in good fats can lead to weight gain. So it's all about finding that sweet spot. Remember, good fats are our friends helping us stay healthy and energized. So the next time you're planning your meals, don't shy away from adding some delicious, nutritious good fats. But beware, not all fats wear white hats. Let's talk about the bad fats. Just like a gripping plot twist in a movie, our dietary landscape too has its villains. These are the bad fats, the unhealthy fats that we need to steer clear from. These bad fats are primarily trans fats and some saturated fats, often found lurking in processed foods. Picture those bags of potato chips that you munch on during a late night movie, the pastries that are hard to resist at the bakery, and the fast food that seems like a quick fix on a busy day. These are the usual suspects hiding bad fats. These fats are like the wolves in sheep's clothing. They might tantalize your taste buds, but the damage they cause to your health is far from tasty. When you consume these bad fats, they raise your low-density lipoprotein or LDL, the bad cholesterol. This can lead to a buildup of cholesterol in your arteries, which in turn increases your risk of heart disease, but it doesn't stop there. Bad fats can also lower your high-density lipoprotein or HDL, the good cholesterol. HDL is like the superhero of your body. It helps remove LDL cholesterol from your bloodstream, reducing your risk of heart disease. But when you consume bad fats, you're essentially weakening this superhero. Here's an interesting fact. Trans fats were not always part of our diet. They were developed in the early 20th century as a way to make food more shelf stable. However, over the years, we've come to understand the detrimental effects they have on our health. While it's almost impossible to completely eliminate bad fats from our diet, being aware of their presence in our food can help us make healthier choices. So it's clear the villain in our story isn't fat itself, but the type of fat we consume. It's not about completely cutting out fats from your diet, but choosing the right kinds of fat. After all, your body needs fats to function properly. It's all about making informed choices and maintaining a balanced diet. So why doesn't eating fat make you fat? Let's find out. Contrary to popular belief, consuming fat doesn't directly translate into fat on your body. In fact, Good fats can actually help you feel fuller for longer, which may result in lower overall calorie intake. This is because fats take longer to digest, keeping you satisfied and less likely to reach for that mid-afternoon snack. More importantly, it's the type of fat that matters. Remember the good fats we talked about? They're not only essential for brain health and cell growth, but they also don't raise your bad cholesterol levels like the bad fats do. However, balance is key. Overindulgence in anything even good fats can lead to weight gain. So it's about moderation. Incorporate the right kinds of fats into your diet, but don't go overboard. So it's not about eliminating fats, but about choosing the right ones and eating them in moderation. Now that we've demystified the myth, are you ready for some functional advice to incorporate more beneficial fats into your diet? Kickstart your day with breakfast. Instead of opting for that low-fat yogurt, Experiment with a couple of eggs cooked in grass-fed butter. It's a flavorful way to start your day, and it's teeming with nourishing saturated fats that will keep you satiated until the lunch hour. Speaking of lunch, why not substitute that turkey sandwich for a succulent chicken breast cooked in butter? Complement it with a side of cheese, a rich source of calcium, and a type of fat called conjugated linoleic acid, which has potential weight loss benefits and aids in improved body composition. During snack time, cheese should be your go-to option. When dinner time rolls around, consider a juicy steak. It will not only impress your taste buds, but it's also a great provider of good fats. Of course, balance and moderation are crucial. While it's essential to include beneficial fats in your diet, it's just as crucial not to go overboard. Like any other nutrient, an excess of a good thing can still lead to weight gain. Remember, balance is the golden rule. Savor your meals and opt for whole, unprocessed foods whenever feasible. And that's a wrap on the truth about fats. 
We've unraveled the myth that eating fat makes you fat and highlighted the importance of understanding the difference between good and bad fats. It's not about cutting out fats entirely, but rather focusing on incorporating the right kinds into your diet in moderation. Remember, healthy saturated fats and unsaturated fats found in food items like fatty fish, grass-fed beef, butter, and eggs are your friends. They can help lower bad cholesterol and are crucial for brain health. On the other hand, trans fats and some saturated fats found in processed foods like chips, pastries, and fast food can raise your bad cholesterol and increase your risk of heart disease. It's all about balance and making informed choices. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Stay healthy and happy.